Trinity, Trinity, come chat OT on Trinity. Professor Merkel, thank you so much for coming to the show. And as we like to begin all of our shows, we're going to sip some tea together. Oh, so right. I'm going to cheers to you. Thank you for joining cheers. us. Thank you for having me. So we've heard that you earned your undergraduate degree at Tufts in Boston and then earned a PhD at, uh, of, in history at NYU. And we were wondering how you ended up at Trinity in between those schools. The jobs that were attractive to me um, were small liberal arts colleges, um, teaching schools especially, um, East Coast, because I'm from the East Coast. I want to be close to, to home uh, where my family and my mother and uh, my brother uh, live uh, in Vermont. And uh, well, that's where I'm from. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. We can yeah. talk some more then. Uh, and uh, and so uh, when Trinity presented itself, uh, this opportunity where one, you could be affiliated with the history department and international studies program. Um, two, they were looking for somebody that. Uh, does the type of work that I do in terms of research. I look at the international dimensions of African history, African American history, Caribbean history. Uh, and so they were looking for that person. And I was like, wow, this is, this looks like the place. So you teach a African history here at Trinity yeah. and your focus is on challenging negative misconceptions about African sure. culture and its people. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering what in your opinion is the biggest misconception out there, maybe about African history or about African people? Oh, wow. Just one? A couple, as many as you'd like. <laughs> you know, <the> backwards, <laughs> yeah. corrupt, uh, you know, the people are sexually promiscuous, um, you know, it's, it's, it's hyper-masculine, patriarchal. I always ask the students, um, I have them break up into groups, and I say, when, do you, when did you become conscious of a place called Africa or an African? And most of the time, it's two things. It's Lion King. Okay. <laughs> so that means Africa is a jungle. There isn't. There aren't cities. There aren't people, or it's even worse, Rwanda and genocide. So okay. it's like Hotel Rwanda. Yeah. So I was like, that's how you got introduced. Right. <laughs> um, we're gonna be switching gears now. We have a photo of you from your soccer playing days in high school. Did you score many goals? And if so, what were your goal celebrations like? Did you have a dance, a, a jump, mm -hmm. a, a jig? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In high school, in high school, no, because I played defense. Okay. Never got a chance to really score. I was more of the setup guy, and uh, but I imagined, I imagined celebrations. So my celebration that I kept saying to myself, okay, if I score, this is what I'm gonna do. Was the typical, and it was very fashionable back in my day. Okay. Was you score, and you take your shirt, you put it over your head, and you like, yeah. running around. That was what Just I was gonna do. Run around it. and go crazy. Right, and I had it, and it never went down. Never scored just because I was a, of my position. Are you still playing soccer? No, I play okay. pickup basketball. All right. Soccer is very hard to play here in Hartford. I was playing in New York City. You can go to a park and there will be a pickup game, and uh, it's all over the place. It's an international city, so you know um, it's easier to play soccer there than here. Uh, so yeah. I don't play as much. Uh, I play basketball with uh, with faculty and staff here. Cool. Uh, once a week. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, and. So we also know that you've been a radio host at WRTC Hartford since yes. 2012. Yes. Sure. Um, What's the show? It's gone through many, many transformations. So initially, I come, I did radio broadcasting in college. I have a really big archive of music, and I also like to mix. Yeah. You know, like I like to play songs. It's a creative outlet for me. Yeah. You know, uh, we do a lot of boring work. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> so to have this outlet with music, outlet with music. It wasn't that demanding. We did it once, uh, twice a month, and it just kind of blew up. Cool, cool. And I was wondering if you had top, like a top three hidden gems of Hartford, things that maybe students don't know about or other sure. faculty members don't know about that we could maybe take advantage of. Ah, top three. Okay, so no particular order. Okay. Heaven Skate Park. Okay. Where? Is, where? I do not know. See. See, I know nothing. You see. <laughs> have you ever been downtown Hartford before? Yes. Okay, so you go downtown Hartford. And there's a free graffiti zone skate park right in the middle of downtown Hartford. Get out of here. Right by Capital Community College off of Main Street. Okay, yes, okay. So if you go inside the park, it's just graffiti walls and then a you know skate park where your kids are skating. Yeah. Gem. Two, got to give a shout out to the best vegan spot in Hartford. Okay. Fire and Spice. <laughs> Boom. Uh, great Rastafarian 
vegan spot right down the street. Do you have a favorite dish? Uh, their samosas. Samosas. I wipe okay. them out. All right. <laughs> I know when they make the fresh batch, and I come in there, and I'm like, give me all that. <laughs> They're like, you do this all the time. I'm like, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm like, you know. You know, you know what you signed up for. <laughs> and then number three would be the Accra Market in East Hartford, which okay. is the place to be if you want to get any sort of African ingredients. All right, we are now at the time of the show where we play the game Pick One. So I'm going to name two things at a time, and you have to choose which of the two is more you. It's more you. If neither applies, you state why in one sentence or less. Do you got it? No, but let's go. Okay, all right. We're going to start with chunky peanut butter or smooth peanut butter. Chunky. Chunky. Okay. Steven Spielberg or Quentin Tarantino? Tarantino. Okay. Steak or tofu? Steak. Okay. Twitter or Instagram? I'm an Instagrammer. Taylor Swift or Katy Perry? Neither. Okay. Why? I don't really feel their music. I'm yeah. not into pop music. Too okay. Much. Rock on. Yeah. Spaghetti or angel hair? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> Chapel or long walk? Long walk. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron James or Steph Curry? Curry. Really? Curry. All right. <laughs> Pulp and orange juice or pulp free? Hate pulp. Hate pulp? Hate pulp. I actually have. I bought pulp by accident, so I actually have to use one of those sifters. <laughs> <laughs> you strain the pulp out. All right, and this one, this one's probably the hardest one for you, all right? Uh -huh. Bantams or jumbos? Bantams. Really? Mm. Can I get a sentence about that? It just sounds better. It's an elephant. I'm not feeling the elephant. Not feeling the <laughs> you know, I like bantam. Mm -hmm. you know, I think it's a, a like you know it's a little bit more fierce. Yes, and that's important. Yes, you know? the jumbo was always like, man, why are we named elephants for? Like, <laughs> no disrespect. No. Yeah, great time there. Great time. <laughs> Professor Markle, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you on the show today, and and thank you very mm -hmm. much for joining me. Um, and we like to end Trinity the way. We start it with another right. sip of tea. So this thank you so much for joining you. me. It's a pleasure. Trinity, Trinity, come chat over tea on Trinity.